have he heavily fictionalized uh, that story, and it's done with a, a different sort of technique in which the narrator uh, comes into the creation of the story, and you, you know it, but it's, it is supposed to be smooth enough that you, you want to go on reading it. And um, it was considered a sort of daring step to take at the time, but I was willing to do that. You're always looking for a new way to tell a story. Yeah. You're kind of also writing about that whole notion of what's true and what's not. Oh yeah, yeah, very much there because. I, but what's really funny is that I have a, had a visiting cousin from Tennessee, and I told him it was you know heavily fictionalized, and he said, "Honey, you didn't fictionalize enough." <laughs> <laughs> but, but then see, he never knew uh, those people at all, and of course I never knew uh, some of the earlier ones. Uh, that, uh, that the stories were passed down to me by, in part, by an uncle uh, who had married my, my mother's sister. And uh, for some reason, he, well, it, I hope it's apparent, but he, would, he was fascinated by his wife's family. Mm -hmm. he, he, he might have had a real, really dull family himself. <laughs> but Joe, my husband will get you. Uh,